I'm Robert Fairchild, and we are in American in Paris on Broadway. And we are here to answer the Broadway.com fans' um, questions that you have sent in. All right, ready for your first question? Mm -hmm. From Tori, since moving to New York, what's been your favorite thing about the city? I love the High Line for some reason. I walk that a lot when, on good days or bad days, when I'm feeling homesick or not. But um, just the energy of the city is amazing. And uh, getting to perform on Broadway is a pretty amazing thing to be doing whilst I'm here, so I'm pretty lucky. From McGee, you and Tyler are so cute together. If you could pick any role show to play opposite her on Broadway or in a ballet, what would it be? I You're have... lucky you've got to do dance a lot with her. Yeah, recently. we've gotten to dance a lot together in the ballet. Um, I guess one of my dream roles has got to be Singing in the Rain. And I guess if she did uh, Debbie Reynolds or um, Sid Charisse, mm -hmm. one of those would be really fun. She could nail that pot of it at the end, that like jazzy thing, yeah. that green fringe dress. Ballet wise, we've done we've done Romeo and Juliet pot of it, like on gigs, like outside of New York. It'd be really cool to get to do that together. The whole ballet? The whole ballet, yeah. From Amy, how many pairs of point shoes do you usually go through in a week? Oh, I feel really bad because I've worn, oh, this is going to sound terrible, Freed's point shoes for my whole career and I've just switched to a different type of point shoe because they last me a bit longer and I don't have to sew them as much. So it was about three or four pairs a week, now one pair is lasting me like ten shows, so like a week and a half. Wow. So yeah, it just depends. And I keep on swapping between the two as well, depends what mood I'm in that day, what shoes I wear. From Carol, if you weren't dancing or performing on Broadway, what type of job would you want to be doing? I love the entertainment world, but if it was not in the entertainment world, um, I'd want to be a park ranger, like in Yellowstone, or, or some type of biologist or scientist that gets to work with animals, um, like wild animals. My mom always joked, because I always said that, and she goes, you would end up giving, like, you would be like, doing a, um, a, a hike with people and showing them about it, but you'd be like doing it in like a song and dance. <laughs> could you imagine if you were like... That's probably quite... You could make quite an industry Yeah, get that. a lot of tips. Yeah. Okay. From Leah. If you had to trade ballet for another dance style, what would it be and why? Oh. Do you know, I've tried. I'm so bad at any other type of dancing. I tried... The other day I tried to do the nae nae and it was so bad. <laughs> I'd love to learn to tap. It's something I've never been very good at. Um, I think it would improve my rhythm and coordination, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too good at any other types of dancing, to be honest. Leanne Cope doing the nae has gotta be one of the funniest <laughs> pictures in my head. From Robin. What's it like doing the same show eight times a week compared with a typical ballet season? How do you keep it fresh and interesting for yourself on Broadway? I find that um, the one variable you have every night that changes is the audience. Mm -hmm. So the rhythm is constantly changing in your scene work to, uh, based on audience kind of participation, whether they laugh at something, whether they don't laugh. It changes the rhythm mm -hmm. um, in which you continue your dialogue. Um, so I feel like the acting it always feels new every time. Um, when you're when you're dancing, that's the thing I've found the most challenging to keep fresh. I know I heard uh, a drum before that I'd never heard before, so I did the pot of it just listening to the drums, and it changed my um, musicality mm -hmm. like completely. And I was doing different things, and it felt really fresh and fun because this is part of the music I'd never really just cued into before. From Theron. What do you like to eat on a two-show day? Juice Generation's really good. Their acai bowl, um, mm. oh, it's so good. Uh, so that for breakfast, and then I normally have a snack just before the show, like some kind of bread with peanut butter and a banana. Then midway through the show, I always go to Pret-a-Manger and get English breakfast tea, a sandwich, chocolate bar normally. Um, and I just like a snack throughout the whole show and then at the end of the evening I like to eat like a proper hot dinner because this, on a double show day you can't yeah. hot dinners are pretty difficult to digest during a double show day but at the end of the day hot dinner is good
from Destiny. If zombies were ever to attack, <laughs> name five Broadway stars you would have in your group to help fight them off. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Gavin Creel. <laughs> uh, Kelly O'Hara. Lynn Manuel Miranda. Norm Lewis, I just got to perform with him. That was mm -hmm. really fun. He's amazing. Um, and Brad Oscar. Oh, he's so lovely. He's been one of the coolest guys to get to meet throughout this whole process. He's really lovely. Can I find a sixth one? Tommy Toon. <laughs> That's gotta be like, you know, yeah. up there. Plus his height, he could like see, you see, know, see. see all the zombies like before anybody else could. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. We had a lot of fun answering them. We did, and they were so good and diverse as well. We got to answer all sorts of things. But um, thank you so much. And I'm guessing if you sent in these questions that you are a fan of the show. So please come back. Or if it's your first time, come and buy tickets, because um, we'd love for you to be part of our audience. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.